things are coming together around here. We took the rest of our insulation save one bat. How dare you? We got one bat left over here, uh, but we packed up under in this area uh, of the ceiling where there was fiberglass before. Now this is because the pitch of the roof on the front of the house dropped so low here upstairs that there's actually what's called a knee wall here where you don't, you can't walk any further out because it just continues to taper down to where you'd have to be crawling on your hands and knees. So this area is essentially attic and the plane of the roof is right here. So that's why this is insulated so that heat rising up here doesn't just go right out the roof, melt out the snow, and have you have ice dam and stuff like that happening out here. But you do let the heat soak up through to the second floor in areas where you are on the second floor. And it wasn't like that down here because once again, this house uh, you know, had a, a sort of a symmetrical peak and somebody took the back half of it up uh, to where you had a full height here or a much higher outside wall so you can go all the way over there. There is no knee wall on this side of the house, ergo, there's no insulation necessary up here. So we use that up, long story short. And we used ergo, so that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> now we went along here, in this side of the room, we had a half inch rip of plywood on these, this joist, the two in the middle here, you can see it there, and a half inch rip, rip there. But as we come across the room, uh, we wanna be not only a pretty good transition from the new board to the old surface of the ceiling. We also want to start running out and touching down like over here. Our drywall just lands tight to our new framing, lands tight to our new framing on this side, which once again we looked at last time, our drywall is landing tight to the new framing here because this is drywall uh, in this renovation of the kitchen. But we were up on a quarter of an inch over here. So we'll be up on a quarter of an inch over there. Uh, we're down uh, as far as this sheet that we're on the hoist with. Let me turn the light on my hat. Uh, we're down tight to the framing here all along, but this is sort of the art project that we described <clears throat> You know when I get into areas like this, this is going to be a tough spot I carried half an inch across there But then I went to two layers of quarter here to one layer of quarter here and two layers of quarter here to one layer there and just a half to one quarter here and this piece will be basically twisted in here and he's a small piece so he's you know a bit of a concern that you would you know ideally you'd come through here with a nice long piece over a transition like that but I just didn't know exactly what I wanted there's just a lot of pieces to this puzzle um, I can't manipulate pieces of drywall greater than eight feet long by myself uh, I'd loved to use two twelves in here and just be done with it but I don't have though I could put it on the hoist I uh, even if I could maybe get it up on my hip they're not heavy and be careful with it out in the air I have to weasel it around in here and, and it's just you know there are other logistical things so in working with eight foot pieces in um, you know managing the use of them and making them economical use of them yeah we could have done a rip rather than a cross cut piece of eight feet in here but we'd have the factory taper edge on one side and the and the cut edge on the other side it, there's just a lot of concessions and thinking to do um, so we've gotten to this point which I'm really happy with but I just wanted to show you now that I've get you know, it seems so easy, you just put some drywall pieces up there. Um, when you see them up, when you're all done, it looks like it didn't take five minutes, but um, I have to go up in the hoist and start committing to certain elevations, and then coming over here, and I can see here that I had a quarter inch on this side, so I'm gonna carry a quarter inch slip of material and slide them in underneath the board there, and we're gonna land here, so somewhere here. Oh, and then I can't pierce easily through areas where that sheet metal is, so I've gotta be able to screw the board down, you know, in another way and there's just lots of stuff going on here. So we're gonna get it bl blended and smooth and rolling along, and uh, this is what, what, what it takes to get this repair made. What I told the customer was, well, if I had been doing it in my house, or if you're doing this at home, yourself, if you can get all of your furniture out of here, which a lot of hers isn't in here, she just moved in, but there are some things, or cover it all up. Really the thing to do here when you get it all the way that you want it, and you've got this old, extremely heavy, thick, mismatch of material on the ceiling, and you've got it over here where you can't move your light fixture or change it, or, or for whatever other reason, find a couple reasons to justify it, but basically tear it all down. Just take all the ceiling right out, especially if it's popcorn, don't bother scraping up, just take it all right out of here. Go around the inside corner where the wall meets the ceiling and cut with the sawzall right along, cut it all free, and just pull it down and throw it all away. 
You get everything the way that you want it. Take your walls out. You can see what's going on for framing. You can put your fixture boxes where you want them, your can lights where you want them, and then just come in here with a friend or a helper and, you know, borrow or buy and then resell one of these things and just, you know, long pieces of drywall. Try and go the whole width of the room and just uh, and do it all over again with three-eighths, lightweight, and be done with it. Um, when it comes to hiring it out, it's honestly going to be more cost effective at this point. Not much larger than this. If I had to go in in another direction here, a couple of boards worth, I would have put it right at the beginning and said, uh, we really should be talking about taking the whole ceiling down. I will be painting the whole ceiling all the way over in there, I believe, all the way over in here, all around here to the edge of the stairwell, and over and into the kitchen over there, um, just to get everything to come in smooth. And so, you know, these are... These are all the things you got to know. But uh, I think tomorrow we'll get the last couple pieces up. And uh, this will be a little bit of fiddling around the corner here and there. And we've got to cover up um, this little spot here. Oh, and we got to go upstairs and play around over top of the, of the registers that we added and stuff upstairs. So um, we'll be applying drywall this week, board. We probably won't get anything taped or any mud out. We're going to be off Friday and long weekend. So next week we'll be back to get everything out of here and clean up and just be doing mud, put some drop cloth on the floor and taping and, and mixing up hot mud for some of our bad joints that are larger and need a little work on them. And then we'll be using ultralight air dry on top of that and doing some quick sanding. And then like I say, we'll break out the paint. So a couple more episodes and we'll be looking sweet here. Thanks for watching, we'll see you.